How to get more respect as a manager or leader from the team you lead is an awful lot easier when you follow three hugely important principles. You can put these into practice immediately, whether you're a new manager or have many years experience. Plenty of managers really struggle to get respect, appreciation and trust from their teams, even when they follow standard management advice. These managers go through the motions of managing, yet have not embraced what I think are fundamental requirements to manage any team well and get more respect as a manager. I have lived these principles managing multiple teams in top companies. These principles have helped me win best team prizes with different teams at national and company level and gain a promotion nearly every year. Many great managers I've worked with over the years follow exactly the same approach i.e. anyone can use these principles and gain a lot of respect quickly. Here are the fundamental principles to follow to get your team to respect you quickly. Firstly, visibly and proactively improve team members' experience of work. Secondly, think partnerships, not boss-employee relationships. And third, use the power of your position to help others. Earning the respect of your team, your boss, colleagues and other managers comes through a mindset focused on consistently helping others be better and doing better, helping the team and the company perform better. For each principle, I share a ton of practical tips on how to turn what you learn into specific practical actions you can take immediately. My name is Jess Coles. And if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to build high performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as the video timestamps so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The first principle to get more respect as a manager is to visibly and proactively improve team members' experience of work. I would ask you to just take a moment to think about all the fairy tales and stories you know about leaders. Most kings or leaders that are truly respected and loved are kind kings or leaders that work tirelessly for the good of their subjects or those that they lead. Most evil kings or leaders are those that seek power and wealth for themselves. In every culture and across the ages, these themes remain the same. Those that help others are respected, those that help themselves are not. A critical test to pass day in day out to earn respect from your team is how are you going to demonstrate that you being leader of the team is beneficial to each person in the team and the team overall, i.e. if you weren't their manager the team believes they would be worse off. The more the team believes you are helping them the more respect you'll get because you are making their lives at work better, easier etc. The more you can improve team performance, the more respect you will get from everyone else. Helping your team is not winning a popularity contest. It is not being really nice to everyone. It is not letting them do whatever they want. Here are six really important actions you can take to help your team deliver more and deliver better and in the process get your team to respect you. Firstly, set really clear goals and a direction of travel that you keep to over the quarter or year. Clear goals and expectations increase the focus on the value adding areas and help drive results. It provides psychological safety and all the benefits you get with that. It provides more autonomy and ownership. It creates a common purpose. All these help increase team performance. Secondly, proactively look for and ask your team to identify problems of all shapes and sizes. Then visibly work hard to remove those problems on behalf of your team as quickly as possible. Think people, processes and systems when looking for problems and prioritise the problems that have the greatest negative impact on the team. Third, work out steps that you should take to protect your team from low value requests, work that does not align to team and business goals, unhelpful changes of direction and politics. Communicate to your team the steps you have taken when appropriate. Fourth, manage your own decisions, actions and behaviours to align with the expectations and goals you have set your team. If you don't follow your own rules, why should anybody else? This is not very easy, but it is incredibly important. Fifth, 
Create a reporting and a meeting cadence that communicates team progress to everyone and be part of the support structure within the team that helps every individual meet their goals faster and better. Sixth, what can you personally do to help your team members learn faster and increase their skills and experience? You could personally mentor and coach team members. You could set up a buddy system so peers can teach peers. You could get external providers to be involved and help. There are lots of different options. Help your team increase their skills. There is a lot more that can be added to this list. Remember, how are you personally going to make your team members' lives at work easier, happy, more productive and more fulfilled? When you can confidently list a set of actions that you're taking, you'll get a lot more respect as a manager. The second principle for how to get more respect as a manager is to think partnerships, not boss-employee relationships. How you think of your team members will translate into the decisions and actions you take and the behaviours you display. You need your team as much as they need you. A manager's performance is assessed on their own team's performance. The better your team performs, the better you are assessed to be performing. The mental transition from directly controlling your success as a worker to indirectly influencing your success as a manager or leader is a difficult shift for many. A great way to speed this shift up is to think of your team as valuable partners. When you think of team members as important partners, you, firstly, are more likely to fully use the skills and experience your team members have. For example, asking them to solve specific problems rather than issuing a set of instructions of what to do. Secondly, you are much more likely to ask for and listen to their views, ideas, challenges and solutions. Even better is to put the good ones into practice. This is a powerful way to demonstrate that you value and respect your team members. Third, you will share more openly and honestly information and discuss why you are taking certain action, which in turn will help them personally do a better job. Fourth, I guarantee you will spend more time listening to and understanding your team members, which will improve relationships and increase their respect for you. Fifth, you are 10 times more likely to follow the rules and expectations that you have set for your team and hold yourself as accountable as your team members. This is motivating for team members and you gain a lot more respect as a manager living your own rules. And sixth, you are more likely to appreciate, praise and celebrate team members' successes. Praise is a great way to positively reinforce what you want more of and discourage what you don't. What other ways can you think of to demonstrate consistently that you view your team members as partners rather than just employees? Being treated as a partner will make your team members feel more valued and appreciated. They'll be willing and feel more enabled to use more of their skills and experience to help the team perform even better. Thinking in terms of partnerships will earn you a lot more respect as a manager too. The third principle to get more respect as a manager is to use the power of your position to help others. When you are promoted into a management position, you are given the power and responsibility to direct and manage your team. You also have significantly more influence within the business and over your team members' career progress, both other types of power too. Everyone is tempted to use additional power to help themselves. You know, it might be small things like you know, exempting yourself from some of the rules that you've set your team or turning up a few minutes late to meetings. Or it might be using threats to get an annoying person to do what you want or just to shut them up. Do your best to resist the temptation to use the power of your position to make your life easier or better when this is at the expense of your team or those around you. Do use the power you have to make work life for your team as enjoyable and as productive as possible. Do use your power to help others, to remove problems quicker, to develop and improve. The more you use the power you have to help others and refrain from using it to help yourself at the expense of others, the more respect you'll get as a manager and leader. Use power carefully and to help others before helping yourself. So in summary, use the three principles for how to get more respect as a manager or leader. Managing and leading others is a responsibility, a privilege and an important job for the benefit of your team and business. The more respect you get as a manager, the more you'll be able to do a great job yourself, which in turn will earn you even more respect. Visibly and proactively improve team members' experience of work, 
You have loads of opportunities to do this as a manager. Next, think partnerships, not boss-employee relationships, and your team will massively respect you because of it. And finally, use the power of your position to help others first and, and not to help yourself, and doing this will gain you even more respect. And don't forget to take a look at the additional resources in the description below, and if you have any questions on how to get more respect as a manager, three vital principles, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.